Intermediate. Paper 3, 2003. So I hope you've worked through the paper first, because there's no doubt about it. You'll get a lot more from this if you tried your questions first. Now the printing on this is far too small to see on the screen. So I've reproduced the detail in a much clearer form. On the other question, on the other question, not all the detail will appear on the screen. But in most cases all the detail is there on the screen. As we go through, I'll also give you the marks that are awarded by the examiner for each of the questions. So let's make a start and see how far we get on this first part of paper 3, 2003. Hope you agree it starts off low, it's nice and easily, but the whole point of the easy questions is to make sure you get all of them right. 6p, add it to 8p, 14p. 3q multiplied by 7q. Let's do the number first. 3 sevens are 21. And then let's go back and look at the letter. q times q is q squared. Expand. Remove the brackets. When you want to remove the brackets, you multiply whatever's inside the bracket by whatever's outside the bracket. So I multiply the 3 by the 5m. 3 times 5 is 15. So 3 times 5m is 15m. Then I multiply the minus 6 by the 3. 3 multiplied by minus 6 is minus 18. So a number outside a bracket tells you to multiply everything inside the bracket by that number. Three of them, three of them. Expand and simplify. Well, first off, let's look at the expand. That means get rid of the brackets. Outside this bracket, there's a four. So we multiply both of the terms inside the bracket by the four. First off, four times two n, four twos are eight. Four times two n is eight n. Four times three is twelve. But it's not only 4 times 3, it's 4 times plus 3, which gives us plus 12. Now, it did make a lot of difference to my thinking there, but when you come to a minus, a little bit more care is needed. Outside this bracket, there's not only a 2, but a minus 2. So I'm going to multiply the 3n by minus 2, and the 6, the minus 6, by the minus 2. 2 times 3n is 6n. Minus 2 times 3n is minus 6n. 2 times 6 is 12. But the minus, minus multiplied by minus is a plus. That's the bit to be careful on. Not difficult, but a lot of people are going to make a mistake there. Minus 2 times minus 6 is plus 12. Now that's the expand part of the question. Now the simplified part means look at the 8n with the 6n. 8n minus 6n is 2n. Plus 12 plus another 12 plus 24. This is the simplify by putting the terms together. Now let's look at the marks for that question. Nice simple question worth five marks altogether. One mark there, one mark there, one mark there. There's two marks here. You'll get one mark for this line as long as four parts of it are correct. So that's quite generous. You don't even have to get it all right. As long as you've got those three parts right, you'd get one mark. But you only get the second mark if you get it completely right at the end. So there's the marking for the first question. Question two. Got some patterns made with crosses. In the first
first pattern we've got four crosses. In the second pattern, another four crosses, eight. In the next pattern, another four crosses, 12, pattern, uh, 12 crosses. Each time there's four more crosses. Each time there's four more crosses. Write down a formula. Now the word formula is important in itself. Because it says a formula, my answer must have an equal sign in it. So that's very important to think about the word formula needing an equal sign. Write down a formula for the number of crosses in terms of the pattern number n. So this is pattern number 1, pattern number 2, pattern number 3. In other words, n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3. There are 12 crosses there. If I multiply the 3 by 4, I'll get 12. So I notice that if I multiply the pattern number by 4, I'll get the number of crosses. Or put it another way, number of crosses, number crosses equals 4 times the pattern number. Number of crosses, which is represented by the letter C, equals 4 times the pattern number, 4 times N. But in algebra, we don't use a t multiplication sign at all, which is right, 4N, meaning 4 times N. Number of crosses, C, equals 4 times the pattern number. 4 threes are 12. 4 times the pattern number gives you the number of crosses. Let's see what that's worth. C equals 4N. C equals 4N is worth 2 marks. That was 2 marks. C equals 4N is worth 2 marks. OK, question 3. Question 3. Write these in order of size. Smallest first. So many times I've seen young people write them in order and then not put the smallest first. I'm losing out. Now there are several ways of doing this sort of question, putting decimals in order. One way is to think to yourself, let's write them all as whole numbers. Let's call that 404. Let's call that 440. Let's call that 400. Let's call that 46. And let's call that 380. Now I'm not saying you have to do it like this, but it's such a simple question, I don't want to lose any marks on the simple stuff. So actually thinking about it in hundreds, it is more likely you'll agree that this one is the biggest. 440, 404, 400, 380, 46. But I've got to put the smallest first, haven't I? That was the biggest. So the smallest is 380, or the original 3.8. Or is it? What about this one? So, that's the smallest. That was after that then. Then that one. Then that one. And then that one. So there's two possible mistakes I could make there. Not putting the smallest first, starting with the largest, and just not being careful enough. 